Hey, welcome to Losing It with Shannon. I always start like start talking at the wrong time when I take these videos. So, are you new to THM and you're just kind of confused? You're like, I don't, how do you know if something is ERS? I have covered like, what some, all these things that were ENS in other videos, but I feel like some people just don't understand how do you take this knowledge and figure it out. I mean, I've probably mentioned it in multiple, multiple videos, but maybe this is a video just about how to figure it out. So, if you are looking at a plate, like kind of like detective work, ha, huh, that's the part about THM. You gotta have your detective cap on. And if things, it's the Facebook behind you. So, how, so if you're looking at a recipe, uh, I can always pull one up really quick. I'm gonna go to one of my favorite old websites, which most of these tend to be crossovers with the way she cooks them. But I'm gonna go to a slow cooker recipe. So I went to budgetbites.com and Actually, is there a slow cooker recipe that I just made? So, I'm going to go slow cooker white chicken chili on Budget Bites. And, uh, so looking at the ingredients, it has a yellow onion, garlic, jalapeno, skinless bonus chicken breast, salsa verde, which is like green chili, the green salsa, essential, uh, cannel, cannelli beans, pinto beans, cumin, oregano, pepper, ground black pepper, and chicken broth and shred cheese. Looking at all this, the major fuels, because you're going to look for these clues, biggest clues when you're looking at recipes will be butter or oil, eggs, cheese, um, or carb sources like beans. Um, certain squashes, which those always screw me up. Uh, carbs and fruits. So, looking at this recipe, it is a chili recipe. Onion is good. Garlic is good. Jalapeno is good. Boneless skinless chicken breast. Okay, as of right now, that can be an E. Awesome. Verde is cool. Cannonelli uh, beans and bento beans. Those are beans. They are a carb source. They are E. Is this E food list in the original? Big ol' the plan book is on page 49. Beans are an E fuel. So, as of this moment, it's an E fuel. Cumin, oregano, black pepper, cayenne pepper, chicken broth. Those are all cool. That's all E is currently E. We only get to trouble. Mon Monterey Jack sh cheese shredded. Um, where are the chicken breast? Now, guess what? That uh, I just read the instructions really quick. Number five is served chili hot, topped with Jack cheese. The Jack cheese is only about four ounces. So, if we go to, is it under dairy? No, it's under garnishment. I think. Uh 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 uh. I am pretty sure that I have seen some cheeses for garnishment purposes, but I can't find it now. I might be wrong on that. But, oh yes, okay. So on page 50, it says you can have garnishment only. And I mean, garnishment is not covering it, so the entire chili is full of cheese. Like, you're lifting your spoon and you see cheesy, oozy goodness. I love that, by the way. <laughs> um, but you can do skim mozzarella cheese and reduce fat 2% hard cheeses, garnishment amounts only. So, like, pretty much enough to make a pretty picture. Um, you can, and if you wanted to serve this as a crossover for your kids or family that needs crossovers, or if you need crossovers, serve it as is as a crossover. Um... If you need a split fuel, since it is mostly E, I would make that shred cheese instead of topping it. Either use nutritional yeast or uh, cheese wedges. That'll be a part of your fats. Those laughing cow cheese wedges. And, and 
and or you could have that garnishment that small garnishment but I think then that would make your fats and that doesn't go far so so that's how you can take a regular recipe and figure out if it's an E or an S as written as the way this one recipe is is a crossover I've actually noticed on budget bites in particular most of them are crossovers if you can trimify them by like using dream, dream fields and stuff like that. Um, but in certain recipes, it is so easy to make it just an E or whatever you need it to be. So going back to how you figure out if your plate or your recipe is an E or S. So I like to look at the big things, which there are certain big things you kind of need to watch eggs eggs are considered as fuel yes some people personal choice it to one being a fuel pool but the way the book the book always go back to your book is written an s is a egg is an s it has fat uh i want to say 4.5 grams of fat if i say if i remember correctly um so eggs will be a fat, coconut oil and butter will be fat. Now there are e-recipes online and elsewhere where you can use like a tablespoon of fat in the entire recipe. Um, so you gotta watch for it, that. Like there is actually fuel pool gravy recipe tenderloin that uses a tablespoon or a half tablespoon for the entire recipe but it's still a fuel pull because it's under that five grams of fat once you get your serving. Uh, eggs. Nuts. That's a good one. I actually don't cook a lot with nuts, so I never think of that one, but some people do. Dairy. Heavy cream. Coconut cream. Most likely almost always going to be an S. Um, sour cream. Full fat kefir. Uh, which who no one really cooks with kefir because it burns all the bad, good stuff. Full fat Greek yogurt, um, nuts like I just said, um, full fat salad dressings and stuff like that. Um, but that's going to be your big fat tips. Like if you have broccoli covered in a butter that's probably gonna be s depending on what your meat is so if we want to find an e we're gonna look for carb sources like beans certain squashes like sweet potato uh, sweet potatoes or carrots but you could have a little bit in that s just a little bit not like a big thing of carrots um egg whites but egg whites are also an s meal so you just gotta you know figure out is there a fat source with this egg white like butter um, carbs like brown rice quinoa barley farro oatmeal will mostly give you a hint that it's probably most likely a e except so you'll want to look for your carb sources then uh, what else carb sources and did I say cheese with S? You'll want to look for cheeses too. That's like that is a big one especially like in casseroles cheeses will be what hits you the first thing. So now now what I was saying right before he woke up was you do have to wash certain things in recipes like you can have up to one fourth cup beans or oatmeal in a recipe because because when it's split up in your uh so once it's all like split up into the proper portions you have just enough that it doesn't it's your 10 carbs in your s meal like oatmeal and beans but for the most part you just gotta watch those like oatmeal and beans is where i see it the most um after that, you just gotta watch. You know, I feel like carbs, like fruit and carb sources, like grains, that's gonna be your biggest hints. I don't know where your cup is, and you left your other cup in the other room. And uh, your S, your S hints will be eggs, butter, cheeses. Those are the big three, I think. 
So that is how you can figure out a recipe, mm. any old recipe, mm. or your plate is E or S. Now, if you were to put, oh, peanut butter is also an S, I just forget about that because I don't eat peanut butter really, so I never think of it. It's not like in my brain. Um, a peanut butter for me is like a once a month thing. I might be making peanut butter cheesecake this week though. That's crazy. But, so, so, and there's an example. You got recipe. It says a tablespoon of peanut butter with toast, sprouted toast. What's that going to be? Well, peanut butter over a teaspoon of peanut butter would be an S fuel. Your toast is actually going to be one or two. One's going to be S helper. Two is going to be a, um crossover so combine they make a crossover so that's why a lot of times if you see me posting on the trim healthy groups I when people are asking I try to explain like that <laughs> a banana is an E fuel a peanut butter is an S fuel so combine they make a crossover because I feel like that's how you teach you know this is one plus one equals two so if someone says hey I had the egg whites with some mushrooms and uh Half and half under two tablespoons in my coffee. Is this an E or an S or a few pull? Well, there's no carb source. There's no fat source if they say they use coconut spray. Uh, and they're, the fat only fat is in the half and half. Um, that would make it a fuel pull. If they added a sweet potato, it would make it an E. If they uh, say, actually, I cooked it in a tablespoon of butter, then that would make it an S. So that is how you put your detective cap on and you figure out how any recipe is it is it S E or a crossover and how you can put your plates together to make an E S or crossover. I haven't really covered fuel pull, but pretty much fuel pull is an E without the carbs, like I just said like two minutes ago. So um yeah, that is how you do it. I hope this helps anyone that's struggling with THM. It does get easier. You will figure this out. It's just easiest to get great an idea of these lists in the book. Uh, this one's E. That's like 49, I think I said earlier. This is S. That starts on 35 in the plan book. I don't have my big book on me right now, so I can't tell you the page numbers for that one. Or where they are at table, because table's in my kitchen. So, just Get a basic idea over what's on these lists. And I think the next video I might do coming up is, um, do I count on Trim Healthy Mama? Ooh, I think that's a good one because I've seen people on the forums and everything go, oh, this seems like a lot of counting. Girl, let me tell you a secret. Just, just, you know, before the video even comes out, I don't count anything at all. So, uh, stay tuned to my channel. I just, like, got all these ideas this week. I'll run out of ideas in a week, so... Stay tuned to my channel. I hope this helps you. Check out my other THM related videos. Once a week, I uh, post at least a at least a weigh in video um, on my weigh ins and how my week has been uh, on Trim Healthy Mama. So, uh, it, so feel free to check out my older videos. I don't really edit them. I'm not fancy, and I got a kids, so my life is a little crazy. And there's craziness in the background. I'm real. I hope. <laughs> This helps you Yay. and um, after you eat. So I'll see you next time and please subscribe. If this helps you, tell like, like, like below. If this, if you think this will help your friends, share it. Uh, so put your detective caps on and start figuring out your true healthy meals. And I mean, the basic thing is you gotta read the book and understand it. You know, you're not wanting to put carbs with fats. Uh, yes, my kids eat off plan, so. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.